All right, last time I was here, there was a major fish kill. Dead fish floating everywhere. Uh, that was probably about two, three weeks ago. Right now, there's, I don't see any dead fish or bones or anything, but I don't see any live fish either. So I'm just, we're, we're out here looking to see if there's anything that still survived. There's a fish, there's a bass, I just saw one swim by. It's good news, good news. A little one, that's good news. Even if they're not biting, that's good news. Oh, <laughs> got one, he came and took that. Right off the surface. Top water, hope I got that on camera. Yeah, little one. Top water blow up. <laughs> Real energetic. Good sign. Good sign. There you go. <laughs> as little as that fish was, that's probably one of the, my favorite catches already. All right. That, uh, we were at that pond earlier, there's still stuff surviving, but we're going to leave it alone for a while, maybe they'll get bigger. Uh, we decided to check out a new spot. Never been here before, this is actually open to the public, but you do have to pay to get in. This is called Miss Kitty's Ponds. And there, it looks like there's at least two or three ponds here. So, uh, we're going to check it out. Looks good, there's got to be some fish around here. And it's catch and release only, which I love that. That is awesome, so I don't mind other people being out here. And since it's helping the owner charging admission to get in, I don't mind putting the information about where this is. So it's off a old Pearsall Road. And uh, old Pearsall Road in 1604. And look, I'm already seeing big swirls out there. Got a bunch of different kinds of cows out here. Got longhorns, dairy cows. Regular cows staring me down. Hey, <laughs> maybe not, Adam. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, it's charging us. <laughs> it's not even the bull. <laughs> We're, we're not approaching her. She's coming after us. <laughs> I don't want to get too far away from the cars and have them surrounding them when we try to come back. <laughs> yeah, I think we should move. <laughs> well, we'll drive that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that cow didn't want us to fish that spot, so we packed up and moved. Adam just yelled he got one. How big? How big? I don't know what he's saying. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Oh. Where you at? Not bad. It's a good start. Two pounds? You want to get weight on it? <laughs> it's good length. Can you give me a picture? Yeah. Like this. Like this? Yeah. 
probably a good 17 or 18. Push it with a stick, he's stuck in the... There he goes. Nice clear water. He's still out there. <laughs> Oh man, I had one chasing it, but he got, ran out of room. Huh? With a worm, skinny Senko. All right, I'm changing up to an old staple, swim dinger. This one's a little bit deformed, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I got one, yep. Ugh. Not a big one, but it's a good one to start with. <laughs> hmm? Swim dinger, yeah. Uh, green pumpkin. Off he goes. Hey, Greg, check out this cloud over here. Is that kind of swirling around or is it just me? Yeah. It would make for a nice shot to be catching a fish in front of a tornado. I'm just not sure if I would want to be the one taking that shot. <laughs> we have been having them a lot lately. Even though we're not supposed to have them around here. All I know is that fish wasn't a $10 fish. I need to catch something else. <laughs> Crystal clear blue over there. Just one storm cloud right above us here. And there were little swirls in it, so I'm a little, a little worried about it. More worried about a tornado than a thunderstorm. Oh. Oh, topwater strike. What was that? Is that a bass? What is that? Yep, got another one. Top water strike, I wouldn't expect that. These fish are fat. There he goes. Well, here comes the rain. Damn. And that was a topwater blow up, even though it's uh, not a topwater bait that I was using. I didn't bring my waterproof gear, so I might have to stop recording. storm should just blow right over us though yeah it's all clear back up that way the storm should blow right over us all right it started raining and I had to put my camera away for a little while and as soon as it started raining everybody else there was a lot of people out here everybody else took off they all left and it only rained for about 10 maybe 15 minutes and it stopped it is drastically cooler now, but it's not raining anymore. Storm blew over, and now we're the only ones out here. So now we can probably pick some better spots, even on the bigger pond. Both 
go. Right there? <laughs> They've all been about this size, right? Yeah, exactly. That looks like a spotted bass. Except for that first one that Adam caught. That was a big one. Yeah, that was a 19. Yeah, you're on the other side of the hill, so I didn't want to try to get it. It's a little shiny, but you get the Spurs logo clearly. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Alright, guys. Water, so. 